Hello ladies and gentlemen, and today's journey takes us to Tintagel, a wonderful place in North Cornwall. North Cornwall is facing the Atlantic Ocean and we certainly felt it when we arrived. The sea was choppy and the waves were much bigger than usual. We were simply immersed in nature. It was incredible, absolutely incredible to see the sea behave that way. Tintagel is rather enigmatic village, a place where King Arthur was conceived. As we arrived to the village, it almost drew us in, the places of ancient atmosphere and mystery. The modern world had its say too, and it's not like the village is stuck back in time. No, on the contrary, it rides the essence of time, I would say. There are many places to visit, but in my opinion, the old post office building is probably the most notable place in the village. Built in 14th century, it looks like it was there forever and to be honest, it feels like it's gonna stay there for good. It feels that solid. You can't go to Cornwall and not have a Cornish pasty. They are so tasty. The steep descent to the sea is very picturesque. Sharp rocks along the way certainly look very dramatic. One of the locals told us to watch out for the tide as we go towards the Merlin cave. It comes in very fast and it's easy to get trapped in there. The wind was picking up, the waves were getting bigger and we were compelled to go and experience this magnificent place. there it was, but the tide was coming in relentlessly and we had seconds to get back. The magnificence of the sea and the nature could be felt with every cell of our bodies and the roaring sound of waves was incredible. After visiting the cave we were compelled to see the scenery and what it looks like from the cliffs. We were certainly not disappointed with the scene. Those are the views. And it's not just Tintagel, it's the whole area that is filled with mystery of the Arthurian legends. All the places are very close to one another. And if Arthur was a real historical figure, a real man, he certainly would have been to all the local places. I guess it'll always be a question of belief, a debate if you will, whether he was real or not, whether he visited Glastonbury and its springs. I guess we'll never know for sure. One thing is certain, the beauty of this place is beyond any words, beyond any poetic description. Thank you for sharing this journey with us and if you like this piece, please feel free to browse my channel and see more videos about incredible, inspirational places, some of which are filled with magic. And until next week, next Thursday, 7 o'clock in the evening, bye bye.